Hello, I'm Ramon. This is Kilo Papa 4 Tango Radio in Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, I'm making this video because I want to uh, demonstrate a voiceover IP application that I've been working with and a hardware uh, setup that I've been working with for the past couple of months. Um, this is basically an Echolink node using a software from SM0SVX called SVX Link. Uh, this is currently uh, running on a Raspberry Pi and I have this setup uh, wired into a Chinese radio, a Baofeng BF888S and running on 12 volts by just using a, a battery. I have it connected here. So I just want to quickly demonstrate uh, this uh, hardware setup and exactly what it does and what uh, uses it can have. I have two of them. Over here I have another one that I built as well. This is not connected. So I just want to show you quickly what this is. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi. This is a very popular Linux based uh, uh, computer. It uh, has multiple uses and one of the uses that I, I have for it is as an Echolink uh, voice over IP standalone node. So what I have here is a full running computer running uh, Raspbian uh, Linux. That's a Debian distribution. Uh, this Raspberry Pi has an, uh, an interface board. It's a sound card interface board. This allows me to wire the computer directly into a transceiver, a radio and uh, also allows me to uh, uh, talk to it directly using another radio like this one that I have here. So what I have here is a Raspberry Pi, a sound card interface it's, that's wired into the radio as you see here. This radio is a Baofeng BF888S that is stripped out. I took off the case and all the moldings to make it as compact as possible. So all we have here is the heat sink and the actual radio. I tapped into the radio and I was able to get the push to talk, audio in, audio out, and a signal to get the uh, to mimic a carrier operated squelch. That way, uh, SVX Link can easily detect when uh, there is a signal coming over the air. Uh, I take uh, two step-down transformers. This is a, uh, a five volt. Let me just show you here. This is a five volt uh, step-down transformer, and the other one is a 3.7 that is used to power the radio. The five volt is used to power the Raspberry Pi. They both take in input 12 voltage, 12 volts, and I use Anderson power poles to kind of. Uh, standardize everything. Here you see a USB sound card that I also stripped out and I just take the essential wires the audio in and audio out and it's just wired straight into the sound card board which in turn has uh, resistors that level the audio and allow it to uh, uh, send the audio either to the radio when I'm talking over the air or from over the internet into the radio so I can hear it over the air. Uh, it uses a micro USB connection. That micro USB, I just uh, tap it into the uh, uh, micro USB here. It's just tapped into one of the uh, cubes on the bottom. Okay, so let me just put this down. And I'm going to show, give you a quick demonstration. This is a working model. It's currently powered up and connected uh, to the internet. All right, it's connected to my uh, home, home uh, network. And I have it programmed to not only connect to my home network, but it also uses a virtual private network. Uh, that allows me to uh, not have to worry about port forwarding. You know, that Echolink uses ports 5198 through 5200 and uh, uh, TCP and UDP to uh, send and receive its packets. But uh, so I don't have to worry about those things. I just use a virtual private network and that way I, it always works. All right, so here I'm gonna uh, grab one of the uh, radios that I have here 
And here are some of the commands. Let me show you quickly some of the commands that I have written down that I can use to talk to the uh, node. Some of them are the basic SVX link commands and it's pretty much documented. But I've also added my own commands because I have uh, situations where I would like to know things like uh, what IP address is uh, currently being connected what's the VPN IP address uh, I can shut down SVX link I can reboot it I can just shut down the PI I can do a restart over the air by just sending DTMF commands and I can uh, start and stop wireless connections as you see uh, where is it okay as you see here uh, I have the ability to start and stop individual wireless connections and can I can actually have one or more VPN connections so this is just a rundown of some of the commands that this node uh, can do so let me just show you real quick uh, the basic command is just uh, asterisk and all this is going to do let me do it again Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm connected to the wrong. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let me try it again. So, asterisk. Here we go. Six link online. Kilo Papa four Tango Romeo. The time is one nineteen a.m. PL is seventy one point nine hertz. Press zero. Number sign for help. Okay, this came out of my radio here, and I just told it to uh, identify itself. Uh, that red light that you see, you see when I press the push to talk, it turns green. Uh, that's detecting COS. That light is currently wired straight into the GPIO pins here. Let me just turn it around. It's just wired into the GPIO pins. And I have a little script that runs that is constantly reading the GPIO so that when the push to talk or COS pins are high I can easily uh, detect that and then turn this uh, light on and off it's just a visual aid so I'm gonna go ahead and connect here first of all let me find out what IP address uh, I'm currently connected so this is gonna be uh, asterisk 7 pounds Okay, so it just told me the IP address and the uh, SSID name that it's currently connected. I'm using a voice synthesize uh, text to voice uh, synthesize software. One, I have two of them. One is called eSpeak, and the other one is called Festival. So I either use one or the other depending which sounds better. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We can uh, find the IP status of everything including my external IP. So I'm going to do a command. Okay. So right now it's going out to the internet and trying to find out what its external IP is. So it's just hitting a website. Public IP is 108.171.106.72. Okay, so that's the public IP. That's the IP that's uh, accessible from the internet. That's basically the VPN IP. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, just do a quick uh, connection to the echo reflector. So I'm gonna con activate the echo link module. Okay, so now I'm connected to Echo Link. So now I'm going to connecting to conference Echo Test. Okay, I have connected. A... Welcome to the Echo Link Test Server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. <laughs> 